So a young man is driving his car down a winding road in Italy, when suddenly his car breaks down. Luckily, he's outside a monastery with monks inside, so he stops in to ask them for help. The man goes into the monastery to talk to a monk to ask for help, and the monks are all super nice, and they fix his car, and they even give the man a place to stay for the night while they do it. So the man gets into his bed after eating a nice supper the monks have given him, but he hears a noise. It's kind of a mechanical noise, but also with animal squeaks and chanting. He gets out of his room, and he walks down the hall to where the noise is coming from. It's coming from a door. The man knocks on the door. There's no answer. He sees a monk coming down the hall towards him, and he asks the monk, What is the sound coming from behind this door? The monk looks at him very solemnly and says, I cannot tell you that secret because you are not a monk. The next morning, the man leaves the monastery, takes his now fixed car, and goes back to his home, where he gets married and has two children. Ten years later, he winds up back at the monastery. His car's broken down again, but this time he knows the monks there, and he's more, a little more friendly. He goes up, asks for help, and knows that they'll help him, and they do, because they're nice. So again, he's staying in the same room, he hears the noise. He walks out, goes to the door, knocks on it, a little quieter this time. So the man listens at the door, and he hears the same sound again, and he's very curious. A monk, the same monk, walks down the hallway, and the man asks him, what's the sound behind this door? The monk tells him, I still can't tell you, because you're not a monk. And so the man says, I must know what's behind this door. What do I have to do to become a monk? The monk told the man, to become a, man, a monk like one of us, you must travel the world and count how many grains of sand are on every beach and how many blades of grass are in every field. The man went away and he started doing what he was asked. So the man traveled the world. He went to every beach and counted the grains of sand and he went to every field and counted the blades of grass. This took him another 30 years. And by this time the man was quite old. But he went back to the monastery and he spoke to the monks. There are six trillion five hundred and forty three billion six hundred and twenty seven million a hundred and twenty eight thousand two hundred and sixty three blades of grass, and there are seven trillion six hundred and eighty three million two hundred and twelve thousand eight hundred and sixty two grains of sand. The monk looked at the man and said, Congratulations. You, are you can now become a monk, and we can tell you what's making the noise behind the door. So he led the man to the door, and the door was made of wood. So he brought out his key ring, and he took out the wooden key, and he opened the door. The man went through the door, and he was excited to see what was making the noise behind it. But behind this door was another door, this one made of steel. So the monk brought out his key and gave him the key made of steel. So the man unlocked the door and he went through, but behind that was another door, this one made of ivory. So the monk brought out an ivory key so the man could unlock the door and he went through. And behind that door was another door made of stone. So the monk brought out a key made of stone so he could unlock the door and the man went through it. And behind that door was another door made of metal so the monk brought out a key made of metal so he could unlock the door, and the man went through it. And behind that door was another door made of concrete. So the monk brought out a key made of concrete so he could unlock the door, and the man went through it. And behind that door was another door made of space just. So the monk brought out a key made of space just so he could unlock the door, and the man went through it. And behind that door was another door made of spaghetti. So the monk brought out a key made of spaghetti so he could unlock the door and the man went through it. And behind that door was another door made of toothpaste. So the monk brought out a key made of toothpaste so he could unlock the door, and the man went through it. And behind that door was another door made of bees. So the monk brought out a key made of bees so he could unlock the door, and the man went through it. And when he opened that door, he came across an ordinary looking door. And the monk told him, this is the last door, and this is the last key and it looked like an ordinary house key. And the man took it, unlocked the door, opened the door, 
and went in. And when the man opened the door, he finally discovered what was making the noise. What drove him crazy with curiosity all those years. But I can't tell you, because you're not a monk. <laughs>